Hi everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of Video Game Dad, the show that can hold its breath for like a really long time, but I don't want to show you right now. I'm the Video Game Dad, and this of course is the Video Game Kid. Dolphins. How cool are dolphins? They're like a wonderful marriage between fish and man, but not sexy like a mermaid. Actually, that sounds a little creepy. At any rate, dolphins have the unique distinction of being the basis for one of the simplest, yet most insanely difficult Sega games ever made. That's right, today we are going to be playing... Echo the Dolphin! That's right, today we are going to be playing Echo the Dolphin for Sega Genesis. Are you ready to get started? Alright then, let's get to it. Ah, alright. Time for a nice, peaceful game. Has played some Sega games before. Mm hmm. Let's see. Ah, nice and relaxing. Nothing ominous about dolphins, wouldn't you say? No. You like dolphins, honey? No, I like babies. Oh, okay. Now let's scoot you a little bit closer so the microphone can pick you up. Alright, so we're playing Echo the Dolphin today. We are playing this at the request of my friend Clayton, uh, who suggested this after we did the F Zero episode for Rent a Hero. He said, uh, Oh, I can request games? Then you guys should play it. Echo the Dolphin, because I'm evil. And if I recall anything about this game, oops, that's not the way to go. That's the password screen. So yeah, we are playing Echo the Dolphin. And yes, you can request games. So if there's something you really, you guys really want to see us play, like your favorite game or something that you know is a terrible game that you think is going to frustrate the crap out of me, yeah. by all means, please uh, give me your suggestions and I'm happy to hear them out. Yeah. Wee. <laughs> Funny game. Here, you want you want to try? I think you'll have fun just swimming around. So yeah, Echo the Dolphin. I know why Clayton suggested that we play this because this game is notorious for being one of the hardest Sega Genesis games, and I could. I mean, from what I remember of this game, that's pretty true. Like I know it's there's. Pretty true. You think so? You're going to see what's up there? All right. Sounds good. From what I remember about this game, I mean, it is... Much. Yeah. There's just an island. There's an ocean. Why don't you try... See how high you can jump. Point up and see what happens. Where? Point up and then jam on that button and see how high you can go. Whoa! What's happening? Uh. What's happening? What happened? What happened? Where'd all your dolphin friends go? Oh no! Where'd they go? We lost. Yeah, we were just swimming around in the ocean and now we're lost. You wanna go up and see if you can see what's up? Mm -hmm. So yeah, this game starts out nice and relaxing. It's just, you know, a delightful romp and you're just swimming around in the ocean, hanging out with your dolphin buddies. And then... Random Sky Vortex! What is even happening? So yeah, this game is notorious for being... It's not nope. This game is notorious for being crazy difficult and just overly esoteric. And I was looking into it a little bit, and basically the reason that it is so hard is that the, uh, the guy who created the game... Uh, I can't remember the exact quote, but it's it was... If you jam on that button, you'll be... Like, point up Urgh. and you can jump but basically he said uh, something along the lines <laughs> of <laughs> I didn't want kids to be beating the game over a weekend so I made it crazy hard that's game development in the 90s guys I mean the games were typically really short so they had to be really hard in order for you to get your enjoyment out of them yep. alright you want to give it back to me so we can proceed with the plot so yeah, all your dolphin buddies get kidnapped. Whee! Whee! Why? Uh, they don't, you don't find this out until later, so uh, spoiler alert if this is your first time playing Echo the Dolphin and you don't want to hear story spoilers. 
Um, this one of you, buddy. No, he's from a different pod. Suddenly, great winds of water. Um, basically, what happens is all of your dolphin buddies get kidnapped by aliens. Yep, that happens in a game. Dolphins get kidnapped by aliens. They don't, like... I can't remember. I don't, like, I don't think I've ever actually beaten this game. I had the, uh... How did I smash the jellyfish, you mean? Ugh, son of a gun. All right. Climb up there. I'm trying, man. Whee! Um, yeah, I've never beaten this game. This is... I want to try after you. Okay. Let's swim around a little bit, see if we can't progress the plot, see how far we can get. Um, let's see. I mean... Oh, man! Oh, man! There's freaking jellyfish everywhere. Oh, daggum. Oh! Ah! Oh, for goodness sake. Let's see, what does he say? I am sad for you. I know not if you're pod. So yeah, basically your family of dolphin gets dolphins gets lost. Um, being that you're a mammal, like they prog they thought this out, you know, you have to breathe every once in a while. You can't just swim around forever. Do you think you'd want to swim around forever? If you do you think you'd want to be a dolphin? No? You just want to be a little girl? Ah, jellyfish! <laughs> Let's see. Search for the key glyph. Uh, uh, all right. I guess. That crystal. That crystal is cool, isn't it? Yeah, it is cool, but it's blocking our path. We have to go die. We're dead. All right, we've got to find the key glyph. Um. I don't know. I imagine it's probably in that underground cave there. So let's go see if we can't get there. Watch out for jellyfish. And watch out for snakes. Watch out for snakes. Ah! Who said that? Snakes don't go in the water, right? No, not most snakes. There are such things as water snakes, though. <laughs> I'm really scared of snakes. Oh, you don't need to be scared of snakes. Most of them won't hurt you as long as you leave them alone. Some snakes live next to... Grammy's house. Yeah, there are some snakes. We we had one experience where there was a snake that snuck into her garage when we were uh, we were out of town, and so she was watching our dog for us. And at one point, whenever she took the dog out, a snake snuck into her garage. Ah, and then get out of here! Happened? And then whenever she oh. Bleh, uh, so she sent a she sends us a text message that said something along the lines of, "Oh, your dog brought a friend into my garage, uh, a snake." And we were like, "Wait, what?" And we were thinking that like she when she was taking the dog out, the dog caught a snake. But apparently, what she meant was a snake somehow followed the dog in. So anyway, basically, the snake was just hanging out in her garage while we were out of town, and she didn't know what to do about it. So we can't like when we came back we just had to deal with the snake. I don't think it was a poisonous snake. Oh, there's I think that's the glyph. What do you have to say, Orca? I know not what has happened to your pod. Unhelpful! Perhaps the big blue will help you. That is helpful. You must travel past the under caves to find him. So anyway, um we came back. We had the extracted the snake from her garage, which basically involved... And I was just watching. You were just watching. This was a couple of years ago. And we... Just, so, extracting the snake from the garage, since I wasn't eager to find out if it was poisonous and I wasn't 100% sure... Or, no, venomous, I'm sorry. All my grammar nerds will appreciate that. Um, let's see. I have to sing it the thing. What was that? What was Do I that bump it? sound? Oh, okay, I just had to bump it. That's that's Echo using Echo Location. Weep! Zing's dolphin song. So anyway, extracting the snake involved. Let's go up. Okay. Salad tongs and oven mitts and a rake. Watch out for jellyfish, though. We were very careful not to hurt the snake. I know some of my herpetology friends they'll appreciate that. Uh, we didn't. We were very careful not to hurt the snake. You know, we were as nice as possible, and we. So, you know, long story short, we rescued the snake, and all was well. Go back to 
rocks too. I'm trying. You want to give it a try? No. no? I mean, yes. Okay. Here you Just go. Teasing. Okay. You got to go to the right. Try and find that crystal we Here? found before. Yeah. And then watch out for jellyfish. When you see them, you push that button and you'll jam into them and knock them out. Although, not like that. Oof. Oof. You're going to lose another life. Oh, no. That's okay. Uh, I hope we don't have to find the stupid crystal again. All right. You want me to take back over? Okay. Oh, that's okay. This is a this is a notoriously difficult game, sweetheart. You don't have to worry about being bad at it. I mean, as you've seen, I'm clearly not too good at it either. So anyway, back to Echo the Dolphin. Um, I was saying earlier that I had the uh, Game Gear version of this game, which, I mean, as is typical with ports that go from... This is from the Yeah. Ports going from a console to a handheld. The quality's a little less... But it's, it was still a decent game, as I recall. Ah, oh, freaking jelly. Oh, come on. That's a cheap <laughs> shot. You think that was funny? Yeah. You thought it was funny me jamming myself into the spikes? Yeah. Okay. So anyway, the Game Gear version, it's lower quality, but still not a bad game. And it's, I mean, it's basically the same... If I remember from what I re was reading, they changed some levels and added some. And I, come on with the jellyfish. I think they like adjusted the difficulty in the Game Gear version as well to make it slightly less horrible. And hard. Yeah, there we go. I knocked the stupid crystal out of the way. Yep. Yay, we finished the first level. Yay, and off to the next level. Yep, we're into the undercaves, a deep maze of caverns with no surface to the dry side. Songs of the sea sing of great danger in this place. So it's a very... It's a very verbose... That's our crystal again. Yeah, that is our crystal. Let's see what this one does. <laughs> I have no it's idea what this did. Whoa, what? Get oh, out of here! Oh, no! What even just happened? Yeah, I remember uh, playing this and I got pretty far in it. I never got to the point where you get the big reveal that uh, your friends were kidnapped by aliens, but I did get to the point where I got to the Arctic and... Oh, what? This freaking game. So this is a good seashell. That's a bad seashell. Which one is? That's freaking garbage game developers. And the, this game does not mess around. I think I have to swim. Fast swim. I like gotta go fast. Games. Gotta go fast. It's a weird game. Oh, I think I'm running out of air. Clearly, as you can see, this game doesn't screw around. This is just like crazy next level difficulty. Can I get through here? Did I die? I think I died. F. What's happening to you? I'm trying to get through this... Hello? Undercurrent. So the nice thing about the... Okay, I'm dead. Groovy. The nice thing about this game is that there's not lives. Like, you just... You die and then you just start back at the beginning of the level. Like it, Oh no! Don't go to sky! They could be a lot nastier and, you know... Have... That gym will probably give you power. Yeah, it just moved. What Why did I it? Here? Why did it? Can I sing it then? All right, let's see here. Okay, We're that is unhelpful. Else, right? Yep. So yeah, that's the deal with this game. It's stupid hard. Well, this is embarrassing. I'm gonna have to look at a walkthrough. Okay, so apparently I was overthinking this, and you just have to charge at the spiky shells and they go away. But they still harm you. Oh, this game is baloney. Yeah, it sure is, Daddy. It sure is. Man, the developer was not messing around when he said, and dying on spikes. Oh my god, I need to find an air pocket. I'm so going to die. Help, help, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. Silly doll hand. Huh, okay. 
I guess that's maybe just a key glyph. And I'm super low on health. And why am I getting stuck? F. So let's see, I got the key glyph. <laughs> now we're in a fun maze. But not a fun game. Eh. I'm getting rocked by these puffer fish, dude. What are what do those look like? What do what look like? Those. They kind of look like. Are those sea rocks? Sea rocks? Yeah, they're sea rocks, I guess. All right. And let's call that a, a sea gym. I used to have a boo boo up here. Mhm. Mm by my eyelash. Yeah. All right. Can I charge these? Nope. It's almost gone. It has to heal for a self. Fifty more hours. Great, Daddy. Oh, I'm dead. Come on. This game this is said, freaking ridiculous. This set is driving me. This game is driving me bananas. All right. So after some time with Echo the Dolphin, what did you think? Um, not a lot. Not a lot. Okay. Is there anything you liked about it? No. What did you not like? Not, get, not getting lost. You didn't like getting lost. Okay. So what kind of rating do you want to give this game? Five boxes. All right, five boxes. Well, let me get right to the point. This game is tough, but that doesn't make it a bad game. In fact, after turning off the capture, I found myself wanting to play more. Just know that it doesn't hold your hand. Controlling Echo does feel rather stiff, which does add an extra level of frustration to the game, but the music is memorable and really adds to the ambiance of the cool, calming visuals. Overall, it's a fun game, but not one I'd recommend for young kids or anybody who lacks patience. Well, that is all the time that we have for today, guys. If you liked the video, don't forget to give us a like and a comment. And of course, make sure to subscribe. That's right. If you subscribe, that'll keep you up to date on the videos. And to stay up to date with the process, go ahead and give us a like on Facebook or a follow on Twitter. Thanks again for joining us. And of course, keep playing.